Windrush and the deep level shelters. The structure in front of you is the entrance to a large air raid shelter built during the Second World War. Welcome to the deep level air raid shelter Clapham Common Sound. This entrance to the large air road shelter built during the Second World War lies deep underneath Clapham Common and runs alongside Clapham South Station to another entrance on Ballam Hill. The site was restored in 2012 with funding from the development of the Tesco's Superstore on the Clapham Common South Side. Support for the restoration project was provided by London Underground Limited, Clapham Common Management Advisory Committee and the Subterranean Britannica. But what is the link to Windrush? Well, at the end of the war, London had a severe labour shortage and the colonial office sought to recruit from Britain's colonies. At that time, there were no restrictions on citizens from one part of the British Empire moving to another one. An advert was placed in the Jamaica Daily Gleaner on the 30th of April 1948, offering transport to the UK for a fare of just £28 for anyone who wanted to work in the UK. As a result, the ship Empire Windrush arrived in Tilbury in 1948, carrying 492 British migrants from Jamaica, Trinidad, Bermuda and other parts of the Caribbean. Around half of the arrivals had local contact who they could stay with, but there were some who had nowhere to go, and they were housed in the deep level shelter at Clapham Common South. In 1948, the Clapham South shelter was used to house over 200 of the first migrants from the West Indies. Many were housed for four weeks until they found their own accommodation. The nearest labour exchange to Clapham South was on Cold Harbour Lane in Brixton. So the new arrivals sought jobs there and as a result, Brixton became a hub for West Indian settlers. The Clapham North Shelter was purchased in 2014 by the Zero Carbon Food Company who used the shelter as a hydroponic farm. All the other shelters were sold by the government to transport for London in the 1990s and several are still leased out for archival storage. How many of you are aware of the air raid shelter in Clapham Common? It has quite an aura about it. When you think that the square building behind the opening has those green shutters which provide vents to let air down into that deep shelter. There is no windows, there is no lighting, no natural lighting. Quite a place to live. I do wish to give my thanks to Kofi who took the pictures of the deep level air raid shelter as they are in 2018. And um, it was quite an emotional process. And I just want to share some words that she reflected on Facebook. The very building was reminiscent of a World War II gas chamber 
Tears rolled down my eyes and I felt compelled, compelled to place my hands upon that building and offer a prayer of thanks to those beloved elders that had come before us and made a way for us to follow. They asked them to come and they did. They asked them to help rebuild this country and they did. I do not have enough love or thanks in me for them, but I know that that's all I have, then they will bear it. There are tours being held. Uh, they commence on the 11th of August 2018 and are on for about a month and the tickets will cost adults £38.50. I would like to thank you all for um, listening to this presentation. Um, we've tried to keep the information as accurate as possible. Um, and I would like uh, to invite you to go and visit our website www.blackheroesfoundation.org and once again thank you for watching and listening to this presentation.